all games have seen many different faces throughout their series, from a top-down old-school RPG, to a full 3D modern RPG, to a shooter, to whatever thing Fallout 76 is. All changes came with controversies, and every title had its own share of them within the fans. Since I did not buy 76 for, well, I think good reasons, in today's episode we'll discuss the previously heavy discussed title of the series, Fallout 4. Good morning to everybody, I'm Blue Fox, and today we'll discuss the issues I have with Fallout 4. Before I start, I wish to inform you that this video contains minor spoilers. I remain as vague as possible for the big stuff, but ideally, if you really want to play this game blinded, you should come back later. In addition, all opinions expressed in this video are fully personal. Feel free to agree or disagree with me by sharing your thoughts down in the comments. Fallout 4 is not a bad game, but it has some issues that I want to discuss today. Without further ado, let's get starting. Crawl out through the fallout, cause they said this bomb was clean. I believe we can all agree that Fallout 4 was made for the more casual audience. It was simplified for the greater masses. This is not necessarily a bad thing. Skyrim, for example, was made less complex in comparison to other The Elder Scrolls game, but the reaction of the public was overall more than positive. The problem does not come from the simplification of the title itself, but rather the consequences these changes had in the core aspects of the series. Three main aspects of Fallout 4 were altered and, in my opinion, made worse from the previous titles. The main plot, the roleplay and the gameplay. Fallout 4's main plot is quite uh, mediocre to say the least. There is nothing obscenely bad about it, but it's weak in many fronts. There is not really a reason why there are 4 factions in the game to begin with, since 3 out of 4 of them will basically give you the same ending. Furthermore, all factions that are very poorly written are overall irrational. The Minutemen, for instance, aren't really a faction, since they participate very little in the conflict in the Commonwealth and don't hold a strong position worth fighting for. The Brotherhood of Steel have the exact same goals as the Enclave of Fallout 3, making the whole group a bunch of liars, the Railroads don't really explain you why they like like they do, and you barely get to know the Institute before the final battle. The main problem with having so many factions is that it feels useless and a waste of time. Why would you need to have such a range of options if the end goal is to destroy or join the Institute? In Fallout New Vegas, for example, you had three nations fighting for Hoover Dam. All three of them had a very clear purpose and were different enough that it made sense for the player to pick one side. In Fallout 4, they tried so hard to give what ultimately feels like a false and useless option. Why would the developers add so many mediocre factions instead of adding less but more unique ones? Well, that's beyond me. Now, like I said earlier, the plot is not that bad, and I will give credit where credit is due. Some of the side characters, like Valentine, are actually extremely well written, and there are very interesting side quests throughout the adventure that are polished and well developed. However, the premise of the game is off. Without spoilers, the main quest of finding Sean, the player's stolen son, utterly becomes irrelevant and uninteresting. Furthermore, the big plot twist in the story is not even coherent nor explained well, making fun of the player by giving him or her a rushed answer just so he or she can start the ending part of the plot, making the whole thing a waste of time. My personal main issue with Fallout 4 is the lack of a complete immersion in the game, also known as roleplay. Giving a backstory and a voice actor to the main character breaks the immersion of the title. But this is only the tip of the iceberg, what really destroyed the immersion of the game is the lack of options. Except for few occasions, dialogue only have two options, agree or disagree. In the four box corner there are indeed more options to choose from, but ultimately the sarcasm option is always say yes and the other is just asking the question again. Like before, I believe Bethesda actively tried to fake decisions just to claim Fallout 4 has countless options, meanwhile it only has two at the end. When you play it the first time, you don't really think about it. After all, you can't choose all available options in just one run. However, when the player starts the game over again, it is truly painful to have such a cadence of options. I would encourage people to give Fallout 4 a try, but I would hardly suggest them to play it a second or a third time. Last but not least, we have the gameplay. Look, 
I get that old Fallout games were kind of rusty and slow throughout the adventure, but making Fallout a shooter? Uh, well, I think that was a very bad idea. Nothing in Fallout 4 feels like a threat anymore. After all, weapons no longer break and obtaining resources is not that tough anymore. It just feels more like a pedantic task rather than a thrilling experience. More than anything, they should have at least kept the imprecision of weapons when shooting and the durability of such, so fighting would feel less than just an option, but rather an actual risk the player can take. Lastly, I think that adding too much stuff in the game made Fallout 4 a mediocre jock in all trades and certainly a master of none. The building mechanics are futile yet heavily incorporated in the game and hard avoidable. Fallout 3 focuses on exploring, Fallout New Vegas focused on story. What's the focus of Fallout 4, building shucks? I feel the developers tried too hard to do so many things at once and made the game lack less of a self-identity. I do appreciate the fact that the flow of the game is overall faster and it gives a good momentum, but the title needs far more than that to claim a proper spot on the Fallout series. Now, do I think Fallout 4 is a horrible game 0 out of 10? Of course not. Actually, to be honest, I still think Fallout 4 is an overall good game, but is it better than the last two titles of the series? Far from it. In conclusion, I think if you like the Fallout franchise plus nuclear words and 50 aesthetics, you should definitely pick up Fallout 4, since it is less hardcore and easier than the rest of the games in the brand. But you should definitely keep an eye open for the shortcuts Bethesda took with its 2015 title. Thank you so much for watching this video. As usual, as you can see, I'm a very small channel, so if you wish to support me, consider giving this video a thumbs up, share it, and of course, subscribe for more. I'm Blue Fox, and have a nice day.